the Nampa image during the drilling of a well in Nampa, Idaho in 1889 a tiny figurine made of baked clay was brought up in amongst the debris churned out by the huge drill bit. The object is a one inch long figure of a man with one leg broken off at the knees, possibly from coming into contact with the drill bit. The possibility of the object being a hoax is extremely doubtful as it was extracted from a depth of about 300 feet making the possibility of someone planting it there highly unlikely. Today the controversial little object remains the property of Charles F. Adams and is still displayed in a glass case at Boise's Park Museum in Boston. Scientists still cannot agree whether the object is a genuine relic or merely unique little oddity. Similar finds have been made in other drilling operations. In 1852 a well driller in Whiteside County, Illinois retrieved a copper ring and another copper device shaped like a boat hook from 120 feet below the surface and in 1971 and drill bit brought up a bronze coin from a depth of 114 feet just outside Shilakaki, Illinois. The Dogon The Dogon figure 52 are an African tribe located mainly in the Bandiagar and Jirasa districts of Mali, West Africa. The tribe's population about 300,000 being most heavily concentrated along a 200-kilometer stretch of escarpment called the Cliffs of Bandiagar, in which they have managed to use to fashion some spectacular dwellings for themselves figure 53. In the early 20th century two French anthropologists named Marcel Riol and Germain Diaturlin spent a good deal of time living with the Dogon in order to study their ways. In 1930, after they had been living with the tribe for some 15 years, four Dogon priests decided that it was time to take the Frenchmen into their confidence and invited the men to share in the tribe's most important and secret tradition. The tale was the secret Dogon creation myths about their sacred star which they named as Potolo. The star to which they were referring is Sirius which located some 8.6 light years from Earth. Sirius is also the brightest star in the night sky. The Dogon told the anthropologists that Sirius was the home of the gods who had made them who they are. They told them that Sirius is the smallest and heaviest thing there is and that it was white in color. They said that it had a companion star, invisible to the human eye but that it moves around Sirius in an elliptical orbit that took 50 years. They said Sirius was incredibly heavy and that it rotated on its axis and they further describe it as having a circle of reddish rays around it that is like a spot spreading but staying still. Dogon oral traditions also quite adamantly state that they have known for thousands of years that Jupiter had moons and Saturn had rings around it. Initially the men did not see the astronomical importance of what they had been told by the tribe and only offhandedly published the story in an obscure anthropological journal. However some time later the information was noticed by several astronomers and deemed worthy of a further, more detailed investigation. What they discovered was that the Dogon had in fact, accurately described the three principal properties of the white dwarf star. Small, heavy and white and had also stated that Sirius is a binary star, both of which we now know the Sirius system to be figure 54. They are also absolutely correct in their knowledge of its companions' rotation as Sirius B orbits Sirius A every 49.9250 years. Their description of reddish rays is also quite remarkable as this space telescope photograph reveals figure 55 and perfectly describes the DNA type pattern that is made by the elliptical orbit of the two stars rotating around each other as they travel through the sky figure 56. The Dogon people also use an extremely unorthodox calendar that is based on a 50-year cycle. This cycle is uniquely unusual because it does not follow any cycles coinciding with any movements of our Earth, Moon or Sun but instead is based wholly on the rotational movements of Sirius B. In fact the entire Dogon culture is based around the 50-year cycle of Sirius B. The Dogon people of pre-1930 had no telescope for real written language. How is it they were able to accurately describe things we still only possessed a very limited knowledge of? Where did they get their information? The Dogon repeatedly say that they were taught these things many, many years ago by their gods who visited them from their home planet which orbits Sirius B. The Dogon also describe them as being amphibious creatures.
the giant stone balls of Costa Rica yet such proof may have already been long ago provided by an amazing discovery was made in the 1930s by workmen who were clearing land for a banana plantation. While burning and hacking away the jungle the workmen literally stumbled across scores of stone balls that had somehow been shaped and placed in the forest. Many of these balls are perfectly spherical and vary greatly in size figure 57 ranging from the size of a tennis ball to around 8 feet in diameter and weighing up to around 16 tons and are great distances from each other with not apparent design to their positioning. Though these spherical stones are quite obviously not a natural occurrence, who may have made them and placed them at their locations or why remains a complete mystery. Some have theorized that the area was once a huge scale map of the solar system but unfortunately too many of the stones have now been moved from their original locations to know whether this may have been the case. These spheres are also cut to perfection and are incredibly smooth. Cutting the large stone into an absolutely perfect sphere is the an extremely difficult undertaking and the methods that may have been used to achieve such flawless results is also totally baffling. The Lantau stone a truly amazing object has recently come to life in the form of an uncommon stone with a threaded metal bar inside it that was recently found by a Mr. Silin Huang in China near to the Marzong mountain region on the borders of the Gansu and Zhejiang provinces. The mysterious stone is pear-shaped, about 6x8 centimeters, extremely hard and weighs 466 grams. Incredibly the rock is of a type that is totally unknown suggesting that it may in fact be a meteorite. However it is not only due to its unknown makeup that the item has attracted enormous attention from many geologists and collectors around the world but also because of the startling artifact it contains within it. As reported in the Lantau Morning News on June 26, 2002. More than 10 geologists and global physicists from the National Land Resources Bureau of Gansu Province. Colored Metal Survey Bureau of Gansu Province, the Institute of Geology and Minerals Research of China Academy, Lanzhou Branch, and the School of Resources and Environment of Lanzhou College gathered to study the origin of this mysterious stone. After a discussion about its possibility of being man-made and the possible reasons for its formation, the scientists unanimously labeled the stone as one of the most valuable in China and in the world for collection, research and archaeological studies. During the discussion, the scientists proposed many hypotheses about the formation of this stone, but found all incredible. The screw-threaded metal bar is tightly enclosed in the black lithical material. Neither the bar's entrance to the stone nor the exposed bar tip appear to be man-made. Moreover, the screw thread width remains consistent from the thick end to the thin end, instead of varying due to the growth of organisms. One of the hypotheses says that this stone could be a relic from a prehistoric civilization, since a civilization equivalent to ours is thought to have existed on Earth before our current one. Another theory is that it could be a stony meteorite and it could have brought the information of an extraterrestrial civilization. At the end of the conference, all scientists agreed that further research is needed to address questions such as how the stone was formed and whether the metal bar is truly metal, before the visitor from outer space mystery can be solved. What this stone and the threaded object is still remains anybody's guess at the moment but if it is indeed a meteorite, then it has provided us with unquestionable proof that we are not alone.